And welcome back everyone, GVids here. Uh, today I'm just going to go over some of my favorite spots to go fishing. This is fishing with a pole, no carcass or turkey or deer or anything like that. So you do need a fishing rod and you will want some lures or at least some good bait. Uh, the first spot here, uh, it's not necessarily for money or anything like that, it's simply because it's a beautiful spot of the map. I love fishing near waterfalls. And it just kind of reminds me of uh, when I was younger, catching all these little guys. I used to catch them non-stop. You could bring a bucket of worms down by the river there and sit by the falls and you could bring fish after fish after fish and it was just an awesome time. So that was the reason why I like this first spot. I will show you guys where it is. Just give me one second here to bring my line in. We got a fish on, we'll bring this guy in. It's gonna be a little guy, but that's okay. This spot is just filled with little fish, but there's all different kinds of them. We got bluegill, redfin pickerel, chain pickerel. Now that I bring this guy in, I'll show you where we are. Just outside of Valentine. Uh, just above the Cumberland Falls. It's uh, the second set before that. And it is good little fishing. There's tons of little fish. If you just want to have a good time fishing, this is a nice little spot. There's lots of little guys, so you're always bringing them in. Uh, my recommended bait for this spot would be the special lure, I mean the special spinner. Uh, kind of gives you the wide range of all the fish. I think this one's a chain. Yeah, chain pickerel. So we all different types. So that's my first spot here, and uh, let's go to the next spot. The next spot's more of a money maker, so you guys may like that one a bit better. I'm sure you guys may have known of it as well, because it's a popular spot, but it is a very beautiful part of the map as well, so let's head on over there, and I'll meet you there. Alright, so that's where we're going. And this is where we are. Absolutely stunning. Cliffs and mountains around us. Very nice. I love fishing here. Uh, here there's going to be tons of uh, sockeye. You're going to be getting them non-stop. You do want the river lure. Or you can use a special river lure. It's completely up to you. I do have both. But uh, I usually switch it up. I just like to show that you can fish without having the special river you can still get them non-stop every cast so this spot here you can make pretty good money from uh, there's tons of sockeye so you fill them up that's like twenty five dollars or something like that so that's a pretty good little chunk of change and it doesn't take you long to fill up your satchel here but again these spots aren't necessarily for the profit I was just uh, this spot the money just kinda comes with it but I love fishing for these guys as well and there's lots of them here and just the scenery is the big thing for me I love having uh, beautiful scenery around it's just like in real life when you go fishing you know when you have nice scenery you can basically just sit there and be in a ooh ah all day long as you're catching beautiful fish so I'm gonna get maybe one more and uh... we'll go over to the next spot and uh see how that one is. The next one is also more for beautiful scenery, not so much for profit. So again, if you guys are going for money-making methods, this is not the video for it. I do have other ones for that if you do want to check those ones out, or you can go and watch someone else's. There's tons of clickbaiters out there that have got all different types of money-making methods and fast XP methods. This video is strictly on some nice scenery, some good fishing, with a pole, and lures. No tricks or gimmicks. So anyways, let's head over to that next spot there. I ended up fishing for a bit, so it kind of went dark. <laughs> I get greedy. I want to fill my satchel before I leave. So anyways, this spot here is over on uh, Lake Isabella. <coughs> Another absolutely stunning part of the map. 
this part is not for profit again, obviously, since it's so far away from everything. But you don't ever get bothered by the griefers, and if you want to do some sport fishing for some nice fish that actually take you a few minutes to reel in, uh, these muskies out here are really fun to catch. And that's what I tend to do out here, is just go for the muskies. Got a whole bunch swimming around my line right now. And these things are just great fun. So, uh, this is why I come here. And again, I just want to repeat this again. It's not for profit here, guys. I know everyone's like, ooh, I gotta make money. Well, this game's for fun, too. And I actually enjoy just fishing on it and hanging out. Sometimes if I see some randoms, I almost certainly fish with them as well, as long as they don't pull no guns on me. But I try to stay away from people as much as I can so griefers don't bother me, so I can just do my fishing and hunting and whatever I want. But anyways, guys, uh, let's bring this big-ass thing in here before I shut her down. I really hope you guys liked all my spots. Uh, again, they're not necessarily for profit, just for some beautiful scenery and... A good old fishing time. Come on, big dude. Get your ass in here. Flop him up on the ice. What do we got? It's going to be a muskie. I know that. Let's how big is he? Do 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 do. Eight. I can't see. 19 pounds, 9 ounces. Not bad. I'm just going to plop him back in the water because I've already got one on my horse. But anyways, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.